I want to show you this amazing Docker registry that you can set up on your own host and then you can push images, you can pull images, you can share them with other people. It's all yours to use and play with and it has a GUI interface on top of everything so you can manage everything from the GUI interface. It's very cool. So if we look right now, I'll, I have this domain here, forestfiles.com with the 3000 port, it doesn't do anything. It's not working. And if we go over here to the CMD, I did a dig on it and we can see forcefiles.com points to 45.55.60.9. And if we slide over to this terminal, you'll see that I am on a machine with the IP address. So this is the machine that that domain points to and we are going to set up this machine as a new Docker registry and hopefully when it's done, we're gonna have Portis, which is the open source Docker registry software. So there we go, we're gonna let that run. And while that is running, I actually have my own personal Portis instance running over here. This is just a really, really, really cool thing. And I love it so much. I'm zoomed in quite a bit here so you can see it on mobile. But if you've ever used Docker Hub before, it's very much like Docker Hub. You have namespaces, and in those namespaces, you can have multiple repositories. And in those repositories, you can have multiple tags. And so you have a lot of granularity in the various places you can put your images and how you organize them. And that's really cool because you can allow lots of people to use Portis. It is meant to have many people using, sharing, and creating images. So you can create teams to manage access and people. We can take a look at a repository here in the MRPS namespace. I have a repository called Reddit Pro little thing I'm working on. You can see that it even has vulnerability scanning. So it checks your containers to see if there's any known vulnerabilities, which is really cool. So this is cool. I mean, this is, this is really good stuff. This is really good. I've been using it and it works well. I can push images. I can pull images. I get to use the Docker client so I can log in to my own private Docker registry and push and pull my images. So we're just going to check over here and it looks like it has progressed to the end of the setup where it is downloading all of the Portis containers in order for Portis to start up and run. So in a very few moments here, we should have a brand new instance of Portis set up and then we're going to try to log into that instance and see if we can push an image up to it. Okay, so everything is done. All of the Portis containers are started, but if we go to the domain now, forestfiles.com 3000, you have to make sure that you put the HTTPS in front of it. Okay, so everything should be started up by now. I'm gonna hit reload on this, and we can see now we have a live instance of Portis, and we even have the SSL encryption so that the connection is secure and that's going to allow us to log in to our private repo using the docker command line and i'll show you in a second here we're just going to make a quick account i'm going to call it mrps i'm just going to put a random email address because it doesn't matter and we're going to create that admin account and so i need to set it up real quick i just need to tell it where our registry is. So it's gonna be located at forestfiles.com port 5000, that there. Okay, so now you see that it is not giving us any error messages. It knows to use SSL, and so it's gonna let us create the registry. So this is gonna create our first registry, and now it is active, it exists. And I can go in to the namespaces now and just see, okay, in the dashboard, everything is active. So now we should be able to log in. We can actually log into it to start pushing and pulling images. So let's do that. sudo docker login forestfiles.com. And the username is gonna be mrps. And then I'm gonna put in the password, which is hunter2. 
And now I'm going to log in. And you'll see that we have successfully logged into our private Docker repository. And well, now I'm going to push an image up. So let's do, and since I have the domain name there, it's going to know that I want to push this image to the forest files registry and it's going to go into the MRPS namespace and it will go into the busy box repository. So once I hit push here, we'll see that it's preparing the image. And after redoing the command with sudo, we can see that the image was successfully pushed up to the repository. So now my image here is stored on my own private server. I can log in and access it from anywhere. You can come join my Discord channel if you want to find out how to get access to the script so that you can set this up on your own droplet within 10 minutes. Or you can read the blog post to see how you can put this all together yourself. Links are all in the description and thanks for watching.